What's going on everybody? My name is Coaster Floyd. So I know I'm not in my home studio right now. I am literally at work and I am here with y'all on this day to premiere my first ever park review. And the review that I'm gonna be doing is Six Flags Magic Mountain. So Six Flags Magic Mountain is a theme park located in Valencia, California. And it is actually just right outside of Los Angeles. And it is known as the undisputed thrill capital of the world. Home to 20 different roller coasters, However, I am not going to be touching up on West Coast Racers, Wonder Woman, Flight of Courage, or Crazanity because I am going to be talking about the experience that I have had back five years ago, 2017, which was also my very first Fright Fest. So what I'm going to be talking about on this video is I'm going to be going through different categories. My experience, uh, all the coasters I've ridden, and Fright Fest five years ago from that park. So let's talk about the roller coasters. Whenever I went, they had, I think, 19 different roller coasters, I think. But anyway, all those roller coasters, I have ridden everything except for Ninja and Superman Escape from Krypton because whether or not I I didn't have enough time, whether they had long lines or whatnot. So the coasters out there were phenomenal. Yeah, my top three were Tatsu, Twisted Colossus, and X2. All fantastic roller coasters. So they actually very much nailed the roller coaster lineup on that one. So the flat rides there were also not bad at all. Yeah, they also had a Justice League Battle for Metropolis, uh, which is far different compared to what we have here at Over Texas, except they had to build their own building for what they had to work with. Their Battle for Metropolis used to be home for where the stunt show arena used to be at. And I'm just gonna put it out there, y'all. Their Battle for Metropolis is much better than ours. Theirs is a built, theirs is much more of a ground up location and everything else, all great. They even had a new ending, which had Harley Quinn in there, which was amazing. So yeah, so I would say, yeah, whenever I went, I didn't get on that much flat rides. Um, just like Battle for Metropolis is pretty much the only flat ride that they had over there. More for the coasters, they had a Schwarzkopf classic called Revolution. Fantastic Schwarzkopf. And so, yeah, and that was also awesome. the second Schwarzkopf coaster I've ever written. So that was a pretty good one. And that was also advertised as the first ever uh, looping coaster to be featured at their park. Tatsu is the world's tallest uh, a flying coaster X2 was the world's first uh, 4D coaster made by Aerodynamics. All fantastic coasters. So, moving on to guest services, the the staff whenever I went was actually really nice over there. Yeah, didn't have any problems and complaints over them. I mean, so yeah, yeah, and. Really not that much to say about it. They have, they have been pretty good. And the areas of the park were all right. Yeah, some of them were pretty good. Samurai Summit is where Tatsu is located at. And it's in the Scream Punk District is where Scream and Twisted Colossus are all located. And yeah, just wait till we get to the Fright Fest one. I'm gonna get to the Fright Fest part in a, in a minute. So anyway, what is there? You know what, let me go ahead and go into the Fright Fest one. So yeah, the Fright Fest one has been pretty good. So there, let me see if I can try and name a few scare zones. So there's something to do with the devil in front gate has some pyro up on the fountain 
which is actually pretty good. Give you a bit of a first impression knowing how Fright Fest is gonna be like. You add a bit of an awakening ceremony, which instead how we do the awakening at Over Texas, how we do it at Silver Star Carousel, they would actually parade down where DC Universe is close by too. So I thought I find that pretty good. And then there is also a scare zone themed after a demented version of Alice in Wonderland. I thought that was actually pretty cool with all the black lights and all the spiders all over the trees. I thought they were pretty cool. And then over at the DC Universe, and since it's California, Los Angeles, they always love to bring movies into their parks. So at that time of year, whenever I went, they actually had a Suicide Squad Scare Zone, which you, which you get some of the sliders from one of the monsters that the Enchantress uses. <laughs> they got some photo ops with Jared Leto's Joker, Killer Croc, and Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. So that was awesome. So yeah, I managed to got all those photos of them. And then <laughs> we saw that Green Lantern First Flight was not running. Thankfully, that was actually a very good sign. So anyway, yeah, Batman the Ride, their version of Batman the Ride was actually pretty good. Yeah, their color scheme was a bit different compared to ours. Theirs is black and purple. In fact, I actually do like that color so much. So, yeah. Yeah, the night rides on one of the coasters have been pretty good. I actually got on Viper. It was okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people give the credit knowing that it's the worst coaster in the park. It's really not that bad. Really not bad. But yeah, couldn't really say too much more about that part. Yeah, I would say, yeah, the coaster lineup is very strong in there. So yeah. So yeah, I really don't have that much to say left about the park. I didn't see any shows. I didn't go through any of the haunted houses whenever I went. Yeah, all I did is just gone through the scare zones. So I wasn't really that much of a haunted house person whenever I went. But either way, the scare zones were all also pretty good. So yeah, I mean... I need to see. Oh, actually, we did, in fact, see a show. It was by Full Throttle Stage. It had, like, one of those... Yeah, it's a lot like Hell's Bells. They had one of those creepy dolls, dancers, up on stage. It was more of a dance party, such as... Just like Final Freak Out has been. So, yeah. Yeah, I remember checking out that show up there. So, yeah, that was actually pretty good. So... Yeah, yeah, based off of my experiences from Six Flags Magic Mountain, I had a blast. That is literally Six Flags roller coaster heaven, in my opinion. So, for Six Flags Magic Mountain's final score, I'm gonna give it heck a 10 out of 10. That park was phenomenal. Yeah, the first California and out of state park I have ever been to in my life. So, anyway. If you, so anyway, that will conclude my park review. I know my review hasn't been fully detailed and stuff like that, but I really hope you all can understand. But if y'all have any questions and everything else uh, what I didn't touch on, please comment below and I'll look into those whenever I can. So, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. We are having a lot of fun here as we all are so be sure you share this video like it comment and most of all subscribe give me a subscribe so anyway and my next video will be the fright fest rankings for six flags over texas yeah and breaking news might as well just go ahead and say it right now if you ever want to see me again at over texas I will be at Over Texas Halloween. That's right. 
I am going to Six Flags Over Texas on Halloween night to close out the majority of Fright Fest. So if y'all are ever out in the area and are coming out for Halloween at Six Flags Over Texas, come say hi. Yeah, so I really enjoyed seeing you all out there during Fright Fest. That was a biggest surprise that I had never thought I would see my viewers out there. So thank you all so much for supporting me on this channel so far. And let's hope my channel can grow. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And again, please give me a subscribe, like the video, and give me a comment and share down below. So thank you all again so much for watching this video. And I will see you all next time.